I'm here to talk about Oakley's HDO or high definition optics. Within this laboratory, we encompass all eight tests of ANSI Z87.1, the most stringent series of tests and performance eyewear in the world. Why do we need HDO? We developed a need for HDO when performance eyewear developed a need for wrapped and raked lenses. Whether it was for more peripheral protection from UV, impact resistance, aerodynamics, or overall fit and comfort, a problem developed. The problem was the curvature of the lenses created more distortion and less overall clarity and definition. HDO is a combination of our proprietary lens material, plutonite, our patented lens geometries, XYZ optics, perfectly engineered to fit in our frame material O matter for optimal fit and performance in the as worn position. How do we prove our performance? With ANSI Z87.1, we test Oakley's superiority with eight tests. We have the laser, which tests plutonite for prismatic power and prismatic imbalance. We've got the scope that tests plutonite for refractive power and overall clarity and definition. We've got a high mass and high velocity test, testing O matter and plutonite for impact resistance as well as a UV test guaranteeing 100% UV protection. With our patents and technology combined with these tests, we prove Oakley superiority in the sunglass world. The first test we're going to start with is the laser test. The laser test is testing for prismatic power, which is the bending of light through a curved surface, or prismatic imbalance, which is the difference between the bending of light through a left and right lens. This is replicating how light travels through two eyes. I'm going to start off by showing you one of our competitors, a Von Zipper men's fashion piece. As you can see, if you look down there, that is creating prism. Now you can imagine having to bring that object together thousands of times a second, minute after minute, hour after hour, it creates a lot of fatigue, not only mentally, but physically, as well as being a direct cause of headaches. There should be no difference in the eyewear from this to this. And how HDO corrects for this is with XYZ Optics. What XYZ Optics is, is we've created an optical center, which will be the most dense part of the lens and attract the most light. And then we've balanced it out with taper correction, which will taper thinner from the optical center out towards the frame, allowing light to pass through at its true angle, entering your eye naturally, creating no distortion. We are now balancing out all the negative effects of having a wrapped or raked lens. For our next test, we have the scope test. The scope test is testing for refractive power and overall clarity and definition. What the scope test consists, consists of is a camera focusing on an NBS pattern at 35 feet, allowing you to see the quality and clarity of your lens material. So to pass this test, the image can't be altered or shifted. You must see these 20 lines of resolution as well as beyond, including the 14, the 17, as well as the 12. So now I'm going to show you some examples of our competitors. Here we have a men's Maui Gym lifestyle piece. And as I mentioned earlier, the scope is testing for refractive power as well as clarity and definition. And if you look at the screen, you can see that the image is altered and shifted from its original state. The refractive power is causing the lines to bend together or be blurred, as well as the quality of the lens material is low because it's lacking in clarity and definition. How HDO corrects for that is with plutonite. What plutonite is, is the highest optical grade polycarbonate formulated to Oakley specifications ensuring that all impurities are extruded out, giving you the highest clarity and definition, as well as 100% UV protection and impact resistance. Now that we've demonstrated Oakley's superiority in optics, I'm going to show you what sets us apart in UV protection. Another benefit of plutonite is that even in its most raw form, it inherently blocks out 100% UV A, B, C, as well as harmful blue light. A is aging, B burning, C cancer. All the things you're using sunscreen to block out. This is not inherent in all lens materials. Behind me is the Carry 50. What this machine does is transmits artificial sunlight through a lens and with this graph will show you how much, if any, UV is passing through the lens. I have a competitor's glass lens. Let me show you how this tests.
So what this test is testing for is 100% UV protection as well as harmful blue light. Vertically we have the rate of transmission of color, horizontally we've got the measurement of light in nanometers. So you can see with this competitor lens, it is allowing UV to pass through the frame entering your eye because it's breaking the threshold of 400 nanometers. Let's see how an Oakley tests. So as you can see with the results of this test, Oakley's lens is clearly blocking out the 0 to 400 nanometers of all the harmful light and UV and letting in the full color spectrum from 400 to 800 nanometers. With plutonite, no matter the color of the lens, with an Oakley lens you will always be completely protected from all UV as well as harmful blue light. And since we don't use any dips or coatings, a scratch can never compromise this protection. This is the ANSI Z87.1 high velocity test. The specs of this test are to shoot a quarter inch steel ball bearing at 150 feet per second which is 102 miles an hour at 8 inches away. This test is replicating a small object at a high speed. Simulating riding your bike and gravel flying up, a branch swinging back when you're riding your mountain bike, things of that nature. Let me first start with one of our competitors. So this is a perfect example as why glass has no place in the market as far as safety is concerned. Oakley wants you to understand that plutonite is a great alternative that still gives you superior optics as well as the highest levels of impact protection. So as you can see, with an Oakley Plutonite lens, whether it be fashion, lifestyle, sport, performance, or RX, a Plutonite lens will not shatter. For our second impact test, we have the high mass test. The specs of this test consist of a 500 gram or 1.1 pound steel projectile that we drop from 130 centimeters or 51.2 inches. This test is replicating a blunt force trauma, such as a baseball or the impact of an airbag. Let me show you one of our competitors first. With this test, we used a spy glass with a CR39. And as you can see, even though it was CR39, it reacts a lot like glass in this type of application. This is an example of our sport performance, the radar. As you can see, the Oakleys passed each of these tests. To pass these tests, the lens or frame can't shatter or fracture. The lens can't eject from the frame. The frame can't leave the Alderson head form, as well as the frame or lens can't push back far enough to touch the soft tissue or the orbital of the eye. So from the tests I've just shown you, you've seen Oakley's optical superiority, as well as our 100% UV protection and impact resistance. So whether it's lifestyle, fashion, sport, or prescription, Oakley's HDL will work for you.